we had CPI at 8.30 and this is what happened. We basically pumped into this um, volume imbalance on the daily chart and then immediately just dropped and this is an impulsive move. What I was looking at yesterday in London, that was not an impulsive move. So this is the impulsive move here and then around 9, I guess you can say, I see that we had this manipulation leg. This is right here, a manipulation leg as well. So these are what I'll be looking to probably hit. We've already bounced off one, so we can continue up further. This is also where we can continue up. I'm gonna go down to the five minutes, which looks like we're pushing up, but it doesn't quite look like, at least on the five minutes, that we have any break of structure, so it still supports my downtrend bias, but again, I don't like to really hold a bias per se, I just want to react to what the market is giving me. Okay, so we've had quite a big leg push up. But we've also come down quite a bit here. My main thing is waiting for this 15 minute bar to close to see do we push up more into this one, then I'll be looking for longs. Or if we get rejected off of this, then I'll look for shorts. In hindsight, I wish that I saw this or I rode this up here because I knew that it was gonna come up here but i guess the overall trend of this morning at least was down so i was scared to go against the trend per se but like i said i don't want to have a bias i just want to go with what the market is telling me and in the morning it was telling me down and now it's telling me up i sort of just went in to this trade I think because I was getting impatient waiting looking at this run-up and I think I sort of married my bias in that I was looking for something bearish so I went in short here but everything about market structure um, and price action says bullish especially on the larger time frames the hourly is extremely bullish the 15 minute is also bullish but we are inside the 15 minute fair value gap which is what i was going off of yeah so i'm feeling a little buyer's remorse but i'm gonna try to stay focused and redo my analysis i sort of feel stuck i'm not sure if that's in my head or not i mean i can get out now and mitigate loss which i may do this is hoping and wishing, which the book also says is not good. Yeah, it definitely looks like it wants to go for to retest the high. If this trade stays in, this is all due to luck. Part of me wants to stay in just to see, and then part of me like wants to get out. I think I'm about to get stopped out right now. I want to take my stuff out so bad right now, I want to remove it because what I don't want to see is to get stopped out and then it completely reverse. Wow. And like I said, if something crazy like that happens, that is all luck. That was my chance to get out, but I didn't. And I was married to the bias. I want to delete my stop so bad, but I know I should not. I need to manage my risk and hard stops are the only way um, at this moment in time so if I was patient I would wait for it to get in here and then show a sign of displacement downwards to show that there is rejection here but what I do want to do I think is move my stop down to here just to mitigate some risk because I did impulsively enter. That's not really an impulsive leg, I would say. 
so I mean that could have just been my exit out so I will take one off here at five points I don't want to cut it prematurely but I do know that this was a lot of luck here that it didn't continue further and stop me out so I just want to manage this properly and not get greedy so basically I will move my stop down to here now because We'll say that that was the impulsive move, the retracement into this volume imbalance, and continue down. If I get stopped out, I'm happy here because I do know that price is more bullish anyways. One tick. That was luck. And are we getting reversed on here? I am happy that I've moved my stop down and I'm content if I do get stopped out, you know. I've accepted it. I've come to terms with it and it's not gonna hurt me, you know. That risk I can stomach. This risk I could not and I know that that was all luck. Yeah, I want to see a big impulsive move past this so that we can maybe see a shift in market structure. I don't need to switch. Basically switching between the lower time frames is also a signal but I know that I've done everything I can. I've mitigated my loss, you know. We got some rejection here at the 15 minutes, but that's still a toji there. So that does not show at all that we've been rejected from this bearish fair value gap at all. And I'm stopped out. And I'm content with that. We're down to 11.16 on the day and it's not too bad, but I am very happy with how I manage this trade. I definitely don't feel as anxious as I did yesterday after closing it out and yeah I could possibly come back for the afternoon session. I definitely did get lucky there but I'm glad I was able to see and not because past me would have seen this and been like oh yeah I'm right like keep the full risk and then wait for it to stop me out here which is what happened yesterday but I remembered from yesterday and I saw the signs and I took the signs and I moved my stop so I'm very happy with that okay so I just put in a buy stop at the high um, this is merely a continuation trade I think I'm just getting a little bored sitting on my hands we are pretty high up but we can target the 830 highs we did take out lunch highs so when that happens usually we'll either keep running or we're gonna sweep down it's looking good on the five minutes here five minute fair value gap held up we have a bullish engulfing here i got filled here i had my stop down here the five points but i moved it up to this swing low here just because there's this swing low and it took it out and then went up so i want to make sure that there's no manipulation so if it does come back down then I'll be stopped out but I'm really just following the market structure on the five minute so as long as it keeps going up then looks good to hit to take out these highs here we just took ES highs at 8:30, CPI highs NQ has been above it for some time now but ES just hit it. So we're still looking good. The candles still look pretty strong. Don't have any wicks really. I'm so tempted to take my sell limit off and just let it run and see how far we get. But being so high, I don't want to get greedy and I just want to take my 10 points. I feel somewhat calm knowing that it's gone in my way sort of from the, from the get-go. So that's always a good feeling and I trailed my stop up, so the risk I'm very happy with. So we haven't had any down close candles really, so my stop stays there. Oh look, NQ is getting some action too right now. But just with these really big candles, I like to just lock in profit, especially having that loss on the day. So I am still sort of thinking of that loss and me wanting to make it back, which is not good. Yeah, you know, I, I want to leave my uh, sell limit and stick to the rules, especially because this candle is pretty big. We did just take out that green line there is the CPI highs. We have our next set of down close candles, so I'm actually going to move my stop up 
I did, you can see I moved my cell limit. I think I like this type of management better instead of sticking to a set 10. Just because this is what I plan to do later, I want to be able to let my winners run. I'm getting close to my stop here. My heart was definitely beating a lot faster. But you know what? I think this is a good trade, good trade management regardless. I expected this, we were up and there we go. We were at the high of the range, so. Locked in one R there. Fell short of the two R, my 10 points. I've made progress from yesterday and I'm very happy about that. So the progress will continue. Maybe tomorrow I won't rush into a trade and I'll actually wait for my setup not get married to the bias. There's actually this one here that I set up that actually would have been a really good one, but I did not take that one. So maybe I'll go over that as well. That may be a new strategy because that is not ICT. Definitely feeling a lot better today leaving the market.